The great landsman. Take seven steps around the fire, unite. We each have six more lookalikes. My seven faces, seven seas. Great landsmen swimming, trying to, who like me can't. All you great landsmen, after drowning seven times, regenerate yourselves. Praise timelines, refuting suns, ready your accession. Take seven steps around your six, then spin. Take seven steps around me, men, your nine to five, your compass, your miz on a beam. Take seven steps more, then four, then one, and then none. Sink away, a partition. Sink into earth, grinded, lull in the crap. Go, sink denuded, like you are coming back. Notes on a natural dance. Nothing to do. I have nothing to say. It is foggy all day. Big mountain backdrop. Do you need a rooster? Tall tree of illuminating bark. What is outside my window? The top of a church. What will make me feel? Better crystals and vetiver. Soft inky pens. A new fragrance made without politics. I like to see the stitches and the binding thread everywhere is an accident. Here is a controlled space. Everyone wants a sundress. Do some families think kids need soccer? Am I most busy? Am I never not in my head? I should always be stretching and cleaning and editing my space. I want clean, empty floors, nice scents, remedial pleasures. These are my remedial pleasures, scents and lotions and crystals and candles and sex and cats and wine. It is all in the spirit of medicine. I shake my boobs like medicine. I am bare-breasted in every dream. Maybe the country cleanses me so I can go into town and into cities with a cleansed aura and accrue new energy. If that is integral to my work, it is all worth it. I have willed my Bradenburg to me. I envisioned it in its perfection and it came. Embrace the occult pagan rituals. I tied your braid to the tail of a... We expect mothers to be at the bottom of every uphill or top of every downhill climb. I have dark wood, so I will have to go with that. Part one, we are not injured. First instincts, no clear leader, one thought per action. We don't know how to communicate yet, so we begin as human, building, corralling, storing up energy for the winter. Move away from the knownness. Don't not experience the moment just because you've said it that way tactile, playful, sharper relationship between things, body, word. Each has its own logic. They may not fit beautifully, but we can make a relationship between them. What makes an open word as opposed to a closed word? Is it sound? Is it meanings? Shoveling snow. Words as performers acting without ideas, creating their own ideas without me. It's good for you to have amulets. It's about one thing, many, nothing. Oh, you need clear imagery. Here you go, swatting at flies. You're going camping, you're packing your things. Now you're about to be a baby giraffe who dies. Sad times. I'll draw a box while you kiss the ground. I want to be self-sustaining, self-contained, but also loved and missed. When I am away in my shell, my spirit guide, let go of the ending more and more. We are both man-made and natural within the structure. I could be like those who shared the structure. Outside, I had to be a man, or precisely could not be a man. Purified versus putrefied. Part 2, Notes on the Structure. 
House-like, slanted beams, mountainside, parts of bugs, lady parts, parts of men, sleeping arrangements, camp-like, attractive sweatpants, my God, that was a revelation, sounds of screaming, hissing, flushing, blood and sweat and rain, and technology, and singing frogs, logs screaming, I want to look like I am always dancing in luxurious, perfumed textiles. What is my relationship to the physical world? Nothing and everything I am, trying not to know, timing or experience or, we begin with space and time. Something is carried to the table. Everyone must trade places with the work. Everyone must be carried separately. Some require heavy lifting, some want it tender. A madness ensues. Who will sit at my table? Can I be self-contained or separate? No. What are these smells generated and do I like them? There is a struggle for a small space within a much bigger space. At some point you stay silent for the sweeping. At some point the heft is great but without struggle. Someone always leaves. The others must become themselves or else animals. We are all spinning in place. We are awkward little machines. Messy nests of self-containedness. Please don't kick the nest. There is a baby bird in it. My mother did not wince to find the baby bird in its shell. That's when I knew I'd be alone in my sadness. My talisman can't keep still. They are always working for me to find meaning. At which point someone dies. And we must fight over the remains, what remains, our bodies kissing the ground with broken beaks. Show me your card, I'll show you a swan. Beauty was the horror in the house I grind in, loved by an animal mother. Lift me my highness grating on the pavement. There is an arching to this architecture that is not accidental. There is an aching. Watch me for a while as I wiggle this one out, ever reaching for the prize. How many times do I have to win until I am the winner? When will this space be all mine? I don't know how you feel about sports, but I like to work. How many angles make the whole of this space? How many angels? I'll sit this one out. We can't scream when we get back into to New York. Urban Light, 2008, by Chris Burden. Indeed, there is a feeling to the dawning of redemption when we realize we have passed the threshold and arrived at something new, like seeing the impossible become a glimmer of potential, become the blaze of the actual, and standing in its light and feeling the heat of the truth that everything has irreparably changed. Lord, when I feel like this, it's like running an ink brush through ash. After all, I'm in my copper velvet pants out of Goya's, the straw mannequin, and my cheeks are rosy and I am smiling and I am passive and accepting and I am passive and ready for whatever you've got, ready for whatever you've got. Joyce. I remember I was messing around on Zillow and saw one of your paintings on the wall of a brownstone near Washington Square Park and thought, fuck, I have not done that yet. Who did that? How do I do something that looks good on the wall of a brownstone? Which sounds shitty, haha, but really who can account for how the seeds of ambition are planted? Anyway, I'd like to think it was a combination of your living work, so fucking cool and just exactly what it is, plus the money that made me jealous. Jealous isn't the word itself a tiny palace of flames? Yeah. 
Yeah, that. A screaming comes across the sky, and that has made all the difference. You know how sometimes, at poetry readings, some poets will, after reading a poem, let the page it's on fall softly to the floor? Working for a Living by Huey Lewis and the News has more to say about class war than all of Black Flag songs put together. Enola Gay was Colonel Tibbet's mother. A sound made once more may well reveal its source. The highest possible dosage of romance is to be someone who gives himself a chore. Fizz poem to myself. Why am I a tired can of fizz? Why do I shiver and exude mist from a tongue shaped hole? Why am I tripping on sandstone, carpet, tulips, mulch? Why flick my dead skin into the radiator? It's like the sun tipped over the can of oil on the dusty garage shelf. As they say, once a metalhead, always a metalhead. Thy soul is shrink-wrapped, peppermint candy, flint, light, dusting. Thy soul is twisted ivory, a singing career, the linden, the flower, and the fruit. Thy soul is that basement window you broke when you were twelve. And like Mayakovsky, I intend to murder the sun with mint green thumbtacks. I am Lauren Mallet, and this is Flung de Nuevo Back. Todo era dread, etc., the stars. Era as in continuous, insurmountable pasado. What was that I liked el sonido de? Cristal mojado de un wand de copal quemado. Wand porque o oh, resin and blaze. Fue la locura, su gray caracol trail, the hills sin embargo aflame. Why not change to the present? Y abandonaría mis tiempos verbales. Let go my conjugations for ese terreno. La amenaza, the get fucked or die horribly. Tanta brumosa de sleep. Nunca estuve de acuerdo with my front teeth knitting themselves together. The adult thing to do. Watch the trebuchets hurl fireballs into the oft beyond. Las estrellas aren't out, carnala. I'm trying hard to keep them that way. Entonces, all my ammunition flung de nuevo back to the bull, como errores crossed out kindly, que todavía yo sé which were pebbles set in corvadas, y cuales eran bones baking in colores that looked right into my ears.
spring. Under the surge of the blue, the black dog leaps on her leash. The ex's text, the soul coughs, clears her throat. The moment of change is untraceable, so close you can taste it. Salt and seaweed, citrus, piss, the moon with her wane, wane, wane. Can we agree that the body reinvents itself? A night of sleep, sun, cardamom, biotin, the right laugh at the right stop, student of the month, jeans so clean and warm, they let the belly be. The dog snacks are called good reasons. Listen, we can get on planes. The world, has it always been dying? The same as us? Let's have a picnic. Flash the Eiffel Tower, forget your keys, forget your sad refrain, forget that you figured out how to be right and how that redeems you. I always forgot whether it was joy or grief at the end of that doty poem that wasn't small. Like Gluck changed, I love this as I love sex in her mock of the orange. Like the only thing that works for chronic pain is calling it something else. My daughter's essay began, we live in a selfish world. The teacher hung it on the wall. All my cabinets are open, all my dream ducks clog. We live in a selfless world. Wordle was sold and still no one gives away the word. It's just one day in seventh grade, my daughter texts me when she's late. The brazen fan waits for enough heat. My phonic magnets hunger for their lost suffixes. So much depends upon coming back together. Augury. Age four. My son tells me I'm going to be killed. Age 34. I argue, but the augurs of the internet agree with my four-year-old. I am going to be killed, licking an envelope or nodding off in the passenger seat. The statistics entangle me in grief. There are bright night stadiums filled to capacity with daddies who try to argue as their rogue heirs slap them in the face, punch them in the penis, and toss their glasses of water in the shattering driveway. Dressed up as ghosts for Halloween, these terrified children terrorize, haunting their own bedroom closets. Truth or dare, it's time to say goodnight. Turn out the light. Self-Care at the Baseball Diamond for May 2020 Today we shouted in the Baseball Diamond because we could. Today we showed the sun, our skin. Today we loosed the air from these four walls. There's shame and shine. 
Inside, we lick each other's spoons and muss each other's covers in the morning and the night, scrape toothpaste spit from sinks, spill drinks and sugar on the floor. We yell, we've had enough. We yell enough when we have yelled enough. Today, we took our mess into the light to let it air, commingled all our breath beyond the door, allowed our loud and more. Split fin kick style. If my mother and I are enmeshed, I am 17 and she is 20 and we love, we love, we love our pity. We gild each other all over like the statue of Mary I made out of broke seashells for her birthday. Mary has her eyes and especially her big nose she is so proud of because the rest of her is tiny. Even her hands veins are small and her pelvic bones that pride wide open for me. I came out with hair like her troll doll, her second or maybe third, but her first real baby. She was disappointed by my little nose until she rubbed and burnished it. My mother has dark water in the middle of her forehead. You can actually see the fish and plants poking through the surface of her eyes. I have to tell her what to see. I can see in, but she can't see out except for the world covered in green algae and scales. Sometimes I dive in right in public a horse into an itty-bitty plastic pool with a sparkly girl balanced on its back. My 20-year-old mother wears a halter bikini and her pubes poke out around the leg holes. They are truly beautiful and lushly organic because she doesn't care. She is a nun who doesn't like the word fuck because it ruins a beautiful act between two people in love. I can't say I like it when my man fucks me in front of other people. Although we are in love, I like to be made uncomfortable. But I am 17 and haven't seen any dick but my father's, small seeming next to his porn. The only part of my mother that I haven't seen naked is her asshole, which I imagine to be ivory clean and small. When my mother reads this poem, she seals from the waist down. Then I clutch her around her slender neck and we swim farther out than any ship can go or any rude sailor can see. This is Zach Savage reading Silt Remonstrations. The hill should be two-thirds the height of the chimney per half-mile, Reginald, and the ferry arrives in April in disgrace for lilacs. I owed myself a dollar for surviving. He dumps the bucket of keys on the counter, chews any, all the same and smoke from the hills enters the chimney twice. Two mice observe a pewter matador nutcracker. I won at a game of bets. Whoever bets the most wins. I bet my bet, concussive as a green soda. Induced still life with punctured lung. One. 
We are driving through the Pine Bluff, Arkansas of song, black trash bags nailed up as Jeffers hawks along the fence line. We watch the sky for lights, for fallen rock, for ice on bridge. Falcons stuck in flight over unplugged fields remind me of burying our pets in the yard. I turn to you and say, I love you, son, for your awful smile, your urtext on the history of smiles as men on the radio sing of their souls. Two. Soon we are watching a western. It is raining in the western. Everyone's mustaches are rain wet and front lit. We are smoking like in French cinema, sucking poison from wounds, fighting in the dust. My bloody mouth, its dying words, fog the base of the dimming sky, the fire's black smoke redacting. Now it's raining on Montgomery Cliff. Ease our convertible out of the drive and into the grass and fucking technicolor. Lay with me in the yard as it transitions to mud. Three. We are old men, father, and the world means us harm. We get religion for a minute, contemplate the brush stroke required to render Christ's nipple and the garlic bulb orthodoxy of domes. Initiates are dipped and salted. We wipe our lenses with our undershirts. You're given last rites, and our banter, old man, is decidedly monologue. Your hair is short, but your face like mine. The lights come on, your eyes and lips floundering, each empty and fishing against gravity among sedatives. There is snow for now on cars like fur. The Spectacle of Citrus by John Elizabeth Stinsey. There's an old man walking down the street in a tweed two-piece suit, tieless and bearing in his fist a large citrus fruit. I say it's a tangerine, well-ripe, soft. You say it's a cantaloupe that looks small from the distance. The dog says, bring me my kibble. The baby drools on in her cage. When we were young, do you remember? Long walks down grocery store aisles, you licking each of the loose tomatoes and I putting vines of grapes down my shorts. Do you remember dining beneath the tables in the baked goods section, giggling and on the watch for my mother's rhino legs? Do you remember how well those soup cans rolled? Do you remember when the manager chased us through the store after discovering us cryogenic? blocking the fish sticks, and I tossed back at him a carton of molasses which he stepped on, bursting it? Do you remember that moment when the world stopped and we waited for the black ooze to suck him in like a tar pit? Do you recall the heat of his hands on our collars? Do you remember the fury of my mother and the insincerity of my apologies? Do you remember buying Groucho glasses to hide our identity and never making it past the cashier? 
Do you remember making love on the roof for the very first time and letting our words be preserved as if in the molasses of our hearts, in fear of the stars overhearing us and swooping down to cross us? Do you think the baby will do these things when she outgrows her cage? Will she, one day, faced with the spectacle of citrus, recall our escapades in grocery markets as if she'd been there? Will the dog never tire of talking about kibble? Will I, one day, jilted of the warmth of your heart song, take a walk in the autumn down suburban streets bearing citrus and mumble to passers-by anecdotes concerning the peculiar collection of packets in a citrus fruit, which don't hold anything but each other until the last, the micro-pop, what's an old, lonely piece of throatland?